In version 10, we've been given a lot more graphical flexibility in how walls will be displayed on the floor plan. And it can solve quite a few issues that we may have had previously. So we're just going to draw a couple of walls and we're going to experiment with the wall priorities. So first of all, I'm just going to draw a straight 270mm brick wall and in standard format this is how it would be displayed. However if I selected one of these walls, I'll just select this one and we open the wall settings dialog box under structure we have wall priorities. Now at the moment both these walls have a priority of 8 but if I bump that up to t 10 and go OK we can see that straight away that wall has now got priority over the other wall so it's displayed slightly different. And just as a side note walls will always have a an even priority you can't give them an odd priority and beams will always have an odd priority. If I wanted to display this differently, for example if I wanted this cavity to match up with this cavity, we just have to match the priorities of that particular skin in that composite. So I go to options, element attributes, composites, now I've got that wall selected, now I select the middle and I'm just going to bump that priority of that skin up to 10. I'm just going to push OK. Then I'm going to select both walls. Enable the skin properties. As soon as I push OK, we can see the effect that that has created. Now we're just going to experiment with something a little bit more complicated. But first of all, I'm going to grab these walls and delete them go back to the wall tool and this time I'm just going to select a 240 brick veneer type wall and I'm going to draw just a couple of walls now we can see in this area here it's not necessarily graphically represented correctly because the plaster wouldn't be running all the way through so I'm just going to draw another wall this time um, just going to grab the 270 wall and I'm going to do the same thing we can see how that walls cleaned up correctly which is how it did it in all previous versions of Archicad. I'm going to draw another wall through there. Then finally, I'm just going to draw a regular 90mm plaster wall down from there. And once again, we can see graphically it's not presented 100% correctly. So then, once we've got that done, what we might want is that skin to marry up to that skin there. So if we match the priority of the timber skin, match it up with that timber skin and make that priority higher than the plaster, it will make it graphically display correctly. So first of all, if I go to the composites and get that skin, the timber skin, move that up to 10 and go to the brick veneer wall and then when I grab the same skin the timber skin in this wall and I bump the priority of that up to 10 also and I push OK then when I select this wall and enable its skin properties and push OK now we can see that wall has corrected itself over here but because this because the skin priority of the timber skin is higher than the brick external skin it's shot all the way through so now I have to change this wall to a wall that I set up earlier which is I might just move this over here so I can see this a little bit better I've set up another wall called 240 external and I'm going to enable skin properties and push OK 
Now, just so I can have a look at that particular wall and what we've done with it, I'm going to go to Options, go to the Element Attributes, Composites again. Now, I'm going to choose that wall, 240 External. We can see that the external skin, which is this one here, I might just move that over here. The external skin, the brick skin, is now 14. And the central cavity is 14. And the timber skin is 12. Now, we can see along the name of the fill in this window we can see the priority is actually written there and it's also shown down the bottom of that palette so this way that wall can't go all the way through but we've also got another issue over here and to overcome the issue over here we have to set up the same wall but with an external prefix and another wall with an internal prefix so if I go to options composites I'm just going to get that 240. I'm just going to rename that just so it's a bit easier. I'm going to call that an internal 240. And the other one can remain 240 external. So we can see the external skin has a higher priority and so has the cavity. Whereas on the internal one, the external skin has a low priority. The cavity has a low priority of 8 and the timber skins also 8. So if we push OK, if I select this wall here, we can see that that's the internal skin and we've enabled the skin properties. So we can see that that's OK, but we want that cavity to touch the other, other cavity in the external brick wall. And I just have to increase that, increase the priority of that skin. I'm just going to bump that up to 16, that can be 14, and on the internal, that can be, that has to be 14. As soon as we do that, we can see that the cavities are joining up. Now, this is still incorrect, so I'm going to select this wall, just so I know what sort of type it is. I have to increase the priority of the brick skin there, so it's greater than the plaster. So it touches the timber skin. So once again, I'm going to go to the Composites window, select that particular wall type, which is a 240 internal, grab the outside skin's got a priority of 8, the plaster's got 8 also, so I'm going to take the priority of that skin up to 10, so it's one greater. Now we can see that that brick skin has gone through to the stud wall and the plaster butts up to the brick skin which is exactly how we want to display that. Now I'm just going to select that end wall there and change that to the 240 external wall and enable the skin priorities and I push OK. Now that's all joined up correctly as well. Now we might just take a look at this finally. If we wanted the cavity there, once it to, to marry up to the other cavity again, so we might choose a different wall type again. Um, so over here we've got a 270 brick wall. If we created that as an internal version, drag that over a bit more. I created that, I have created that as an internal version. And if I push OK, and of course I've got to enable the skin properties and I push OK, we can see that that's gone all the way through again. If we select this wall and open it up, we can see that this is a 270 internal brick skin and we've got the skin properties enabled. So just examine why that's going all the way through again. I'm going to select this wall and that's just the 270, which is the external version of it. So if I open the composites under options, we go and find the 270 external wall and on the reference side, which is generally the side that's on top, might bump that priority up to 14 and the internal skin or the internal wall type make sure that that's correct so that's 10 and 10 so they're matched up and if I push OK and I grab that wall enable the skin properties push OK and we'll find that it the cavity is now behaving as we described so in conclusion, we have many options to 
create the correct graphical output and it's just a matter of thinking a little bit about it.